This is a totally mangled uh, hand from an explosive uh, injury. This is the result of a 4th of July celebration gone wrong. This person ended up with an amputated hand. Dr. Raymond Wittstad, a hand surgeon from the Curtis National Hand Center, says these type of injuries happen every year around the 4th of July. Approximately 9,000 people are treated for fireworks-related injuries each year. The most injured body part is the hand. You know, it's always a combination of injuries. There's usually bone damage, there's skin damage, there's burns because it's an explosion and a fire. That means it's difficult to repair, even at a place that's known for reconstructing hands. Even sparklers can cause a lot of injury. Some think they're a novelty, but according to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, 79% of the injuries due to sparklers were children under the age of five. And those are um, a little more dangerous than you think, especially with little kids that don't know better, but the tip of a sparkler is, you know, it's like 1,200 degrees. Fireworks are illegal in Baltimore City. If your community does allow them, take precautions. But Dr. Wittstadt recommends leaving it up to the professionals. Nothing that you can do at your house is going to be as good as going to, you know, a real display and seeing the stuff high up in the sky. I mean, it's, you can't duplicate that. In Baltimore City, Megan Pringle, WBAL TV 11 News.